Good morning, bros community. Yesterday, I made a video about seven coins that I bought during the crash here over the last couple of days. And I got a lot of feedback in the comment section asking about other coins and why I wasn't purchasing those. So in this video, I want to do an update on three coins that are community favorites, even though price action recently has not been great. That's going to be Cardano, Polkadot, and ICP. Now, I want to clarify, just because they didn't make my seven coins that I'm buying recently does not mean that I'm bearish long-term on these projects. They have been disappointing over the last couple of months, but what I'm seeing right now is opportunity for people to be buying the dip and making money on these coins. I simply already have a large amount of supply on these three coins. They did not crack into that top seven list, but I don't want you to misunderstand that as saying that I don't want to be invested in this because these are coins I absolutely hold. Once again, if you guys want to know everything that I hold and how much of it I hold, you can join our Pro Bros membership over in Discord where you get access to my live portfolio and you can ask me questions about it. But with that said, I wanted to give a short update on these three coins. If you are excited for this video, make sure to smash that like button, hit subscribe. But first, we got to roll the intro. Before we get going, I want to make sure to give a shout out to the sponsor of the video, Coin W. It is a great exchange. No KYC, no VPN required. You can be spot trading. You can be uh, leverage trading with hundreds of different coins. Make sure to go start using it today. One of the biggest advantages uh, is it's one of the few places I've found to buy Caspa on spot. People have been asking that question for a long time. Low fees, no KYC, no VPN required. Coin W is the one I believe you guys should be using. Sign up with the link down below. Guess what? When you sign up, you can get a free $100. Also, you can get access to a special group over in our Discord with our Coin W group. So shout out to them for sponsoring the video. Let's dive right in and get into the charts here and update what is going on with the price action of these three coins and what you should be expecting. Uh, now, Cardano dropped all the way back below 30 cents. It dropped to 27 uh, 0.7 cents back to a level we had not seen since October of 2023 and a level that served as short-term resistance there in September before the big, big breakout came into play. Now, we had been in a falling wedge pattern. And I did redraw the lines here just to kind of correlate the new resistance tops uh, and several touches of support level. And while we do have a massive wick down below, you can see candle bodies on the daily chart did close back up around 31 cents, which I believe is a very key level to keep an eye on but let's take a look at some other things and price action that i'm watching for right now and, and levels to look for as we are seeing signs that we should be moving to the upside just how high should we be getting uh, when it comes to this indicator right here fixed range volume profile while everyone likes to pay attention to value area low and value area high and point of control and i do think these are all levels to be aware of because heavy amount of trading happens at these levels if you've been watching my show for a while you will know that i actually like when i use this tool to look for gaps in the volume and one of the big ones i'm watching for for the next big move to the upside is going to be here on 41 cents this is where there's not necessarily a lot of volume but yet you go over and you take a look at uh, excuse me at what has happened in this price range you're going to see several touches of support and resistance watch for this to be a big move for cardano to make it back up also guess what that might even put us back into a level of resistance here where we'll have to wrestle with the chart here before we break the resistance and move to the upside so definitely keep an eye on that one also i'm going to break out a couple stops here but fibonacci tools things that i'm going to keep an eye on here uh we're seeing the 0.382 level kind of confirm the significance of 411, uh, the price 41.2, so 41.2 cents. But also keep an eye on when we start to break out back up here towards 54, where we do have the golden pocket. This is a very serious level that a lot of traders will look to take advantage of for taking profit on their trades. But let's look at a couple other things. Let's start off with why I am kind of bullish here, uh, even on the daily chart. We talked about this, I think, a couple of days ago on the show, but the four hour chart is printed a buy. But this is where we're getting very dangerously close to turning back bullish. If I'm looking at
looking at my Luxago oscillator, we've gotten bullish divergence. We've had reversal indicators. This morning, we are printing a green momentum dot uh, up back to the upside, and we're starting to see the beginning signs of the money flow flowing back to the upside. It's too soon to say for certain, but I think we are very close to getting that daily buy signal to send price back up to the upside. And uh, again, I gave you some other indicators to keep an eye on, but some backing it up. Guess why this 41 cent level is so important yes there's resistance yes there was the fixed range volume profile gap but also look at where our red daily smart trail is coming in at there's a lot of confluence that cardano should be making a move right to that level with that said though bigger breakout coming uh you, this is a falling wedge pattern these traditionally break to the upside and whether you want to move this to the bottom with the more conservative estimate of saying here on 58 cents, which some people read that as, or if you do want to see a breakout above the upside, this is the more aggressive one. This could send the price of Cardano back up towards 73 cents, give or take. Before I let Cardano go, last thing I want to take a look at, liquidations. You will see here, I went all the way out to the six-month chart to make sure we got a long time frame. Another massive reason why I think the Cardano price should be ready to rally is that any trader or whale or manipulator who's thinking we can squeeze out more gains in an a manipulated short position, there's no more liquidity below this current price on Cardano. In fact, everything is shooting back to the upside. There's some interesting stuff happening at 50 cents, 70 cents, and 80 cents. Let's take a look at a shorter time frame, like a month, to see if anything is looking coincidental. Yeah, I think a lot of stuff here on 45 to 50 cents could be an explosive move for Cardano. Keep an eye on that uh, as we move forward. Uh, that again is going to put us right back up in this range. But yeah, I think that over the next couple of months, Cardano, 74 cents, not necessarily out of the cards. Look for bullishes to come back into Cardano. Great buying opportunity at the moment. Let's take a look at Polkadot. Polkadot in its own falling wedge pattern, only it fell way, way, way below. And there's just not a lot of ways to draw this to make this one make sense. So I'm just going to go ahead and leave my, uh, my lines where they were. This is a good falling wedge pattern, just like Cardano has a lot of reason to break to the upside. Uh, but let's start with this one. Let's start actually by showing you why I am bullish. Why do you think the buy signals are flashing very strongly? Again, four hour chart had already gotten that way the weekly chart had already hit by same as cardano we are seeing a sign that it looks like the green reversal green momentum and the positive money flow look like they're all about to be in play here we're getting we are massively oversold we are 100 percent oversold here on the rsi coming over and taking a look at high block let's take a look at a couple of things here six month in dot once again i want to see is there any liquidity below us for manipulators to come down and take control of? No, we've literally wiped everything out. But we do see a nice bright spot coming back up here towards $8 on the six-month chart. What does the one-month chart say to us? Let's zoom in and see what that one says. Uh, there's going to tell us somewhere around 658 But the uh, same thing, even on the one-month chart, there's just nothing sitting below us here on Polkadot. Come back over here and take a look at what's going on. If we are seeing a lot of buy signals come in, a lot of bottoming out opportunities coming in, where could we possibly see the price of Polkadot get to? Let's take a look at our volume gaps. You're going to see a nice volume gap coming in here around $6. You're going to see another one here on $6.56 and then an even larger one up here at $8. Remember, $8 is one of the levels we do see some heavy liquidity. So this could be a nice explosive run for Polkadot if everything works out correctly here. Uh, same thing. Let's go take a look at our Fibonacci levels and see if there's anything of significance to keep an eye on. Uh, yeah, right here, south of $8, golden pocket situation going on. Price could go a little bit higher than that. And ultimately, with that $8 call and the resistance we've seen here on 782, wouldn't be surprised if that zone right there, so somewhere in there, is going to be a major selling level between 770 and about $8. So keep an eye on those as well. Take a look at Lux Agos indicators. Uh, you can see here in the shorter time frame, again, just right here with the resistance, watch for around $596. That was one of our levels on the volume gaps to keep an eye on. It's also where our smart trail on the daily chart is sitting. Oh, look at that, guys. 
Lux Augos take profit on that sell order hit just perfectly, but that does mean it is time to move back up and to the right for Polkadot. So that's what levels you should be keeping an eye on for Polkadot in the short term. Let's move to our last coin here today, and that is going to be ICP. Now, ICP is doing something a little different than Polkadot and Cardano. It's not in a falling wedge pattern. Uh, it actually has more recently come down and done a little bit of a double bottom here. Same, similar to those coins, though, we are seeing the oversold. We are seeing the sign of a buy signal coming in but what i'm more interested in right now even before i look at other indicators is this double bottom and i'm kind of you know being rough here because it's not a perfect double bottom but this this green box i had here has been here for months and the fact that, that zone held up as our support don't be surprised to see a double bottom move that has a play out something along these lines where the breakout prediction should send us up here towards 1770. Let's leave that right there. Let's actually let's replace that uh, with this right here and see if anything else kind of comes into confluence to talk about that level and its significance. But for now, that's the first thing that I'm watching here. Uh, fixed range volume. Let's go back to the bear market bottom. Let's see what's happening here on the fixed range levels. Keep an eye on. There's going to be a big level right here on 855. That's going to get very interesting. There's going to be a big level right here around 1140 as well. And then the next one up here, value area high, 1638. Those are our big gaps uh, when it comes to fixed range volume. When it comes to Fibonacci retracement, again, at this bottom is in. That 1786 will put us back in the platinum pocket, but keep an eye on the golden pocket here on $13 as well. You guys can see a heavy amount of volume and trading happening in that area. Wouldn't be surprised if we at least get a hesitation in that zone before a further move to the upside. Uh, same thing, though, over here when you take a look at the six months, again, zooming way out and taking a look at ICP. There is nothing below us anymore. Anyone who's saying, could we go lower, lower, lower? We really removed everything that the, the bears had to manipulate price back down over here at 982. It does look like it's more room to the upside going to lower time frames. Any prices we're targeting here that look exciting. Again, took out a lot of liquidity here in this most recent pullback. Not necessarily seeing bright yellow, but we are seeing attention come up here above 11 to $12. That could be very, very interesting. Uh, as a whole, when I turn on our Luxago indicators, levels of resistance, I'm going to be keeping an eye on. Big breaker block and smart trail all coming in here at former resistance back at 1089. Uh, so keep an eye on that as well. Uh, but in the short term, I do see all three of these projects going very, very, very bullish. Let me know what you think down in the comments, though. Do you like these three coins? Do you hold these three coins? Did you use this opportunity of the crash to buy more of them? Leave it down below. Also, let me know what other coins you want to see some reviews on. Any day there's not anything majorly breaking in the news, I'm going to be doing some altcoin updates over the next couple of weeks. So let me know what you want to see some of those videos on. With that said, though, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to smash the like. Make sure to hit subscribe so you don't miss any content we put out. And with that said, I'll see you in the next one. Adios.